welcome back to my channel this is virtuous budgets and i'm back with another video today i will be doing my october cash stuffing video so i'm really excited for this new month so let's go ahead and get started okay guys so my name is virtuous budgets if you're new to my channel if you like all things budgeting cash envelope stuffing adulting please subscribe to my channel okay so let's go ahead and get started so today we're going to get started with our coins and we're going to get started with my coin jar I have this coin jar. I'm just going to add all these coins and we're going to see how many coins we have left from the two weeks. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I felt, yeah. I wouldn't waste a minute if I had you all to myself. We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise. Baby, you can let your walls come down. We'd be dancing in the corners. So, this is my budget overview. For cash envelopes, it will be a total of 185. And for sinking funds, we're stuffing 150. So, we're working with a total of $335. So, let's start with our cash envelopes and see what we have left over. So, for household, we have nothing. For groceries, we have $5. So we have $5 for groceries. And I will put this off to the side right now. And I'll show you guys what I do with that later. I feel like a real cash stuffer now because everybody says that in their video, literally. If they do something with their leftover money, they say, okay, I'll put this to the side. Y'all will see what I do with it later. Spending has nothing. Miscellaneous has nothing beauty has nothing eating out i have a couple receipts in here that i still need to scan and fetch i will put my fetch rewards code at the top and if you scan my code i will get points and also you will get points as well you may as well scan it because it gives you a lot of good points and you can use those points for your everyday stuff so in eating out i have one two three four five so i have five dollars left over for eating out and i have five dollars left over from my other envelope so in total i have ten dollars left and y'all will see what i do with that later okay so for household this pay period i'm giving myself 15 and i'm gonna give myself a 10 and a five so I really stocked up on a lot of stuff in my household this week. So that's why it's getting 15 this time around. Cause I bought so much stuff. Like I bought a lot of stuff. So 15 is good for the next two weeks. So household is done. Groceries will be getting 60. And so far 60 has been working for us. So it's gonna get 320s, 40. 60. So $60 in groceries. So let me know how you guys week has been going. My week has been very, I guess, nervous. I had a lot of anxiety this week, but I'm really thankful and I'm really just blessed for this new week coming up in this new month. I'm pretty sure it'll be a really good week. So spending will be getting 25 10, 15, 20, 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, guys, let me know how y'all feel about October. I feel like it will be a really good one. So spending has 25. Next up is miscellaneous. And miscellaneous will be getting 15. It'll be getting two fives. And five ones. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I did raise up miscellaneous because I've noticed that sometimes I need tips and things like that. So 15 will be good for miscellaneous. Put this in here. Okay. And then beauty will be getting. 15 like always and that's just 110 and 15 for beauty 
And this is just for my eyebrows. Leave down in the comments if you guys have been watching Squid Game. It's a show on Netflix. I heard a lot about it. I have not watched it yet, but I will start watching it just to see what the hype is about. I need to start watching it. Okay, eating out, we'll be getting 25, and I did lower that. Just because I'm really trying to like not eat out as much as I used to. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I have watched another budgeter. Her name is, I think, Arison's Love. And she also budgets bi-weekly. And what she does is she has two envelopes, like one for one week and one for another week. I think that's really smart. And she like separates it. That way she don't spend like the whole... 25 in one week. She, I think that's really smart. Who knows? I may do that. But yeah, these are all stuff. They looking pretty good. Okay, so cash envelopes is done. Now let's move on to our sinking funds. And guys, I have new trackers, as you can see. So I do have new trackers. Shout out to Jackie Budgets because she let me know that Pixie likes planning has trackers on her website and they're free and guys they are so cute they're mini and i didn't fill this out before i recorded just so it can like take up less time okay so as you can see car maintenance is empty but it will be getting two dollars today so two dollars in car maintenance so in total car maintenance will have two and as y'all know i already have my tires changed i got a I think an oil change and all of that so i'm pretty good in my car but I will just start, you know, stuffing this so I can just have it. Gifts, we'll be getting $10 today. And that's just going to be one ten. Okay. So now gifts has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So $50 in gifts. My brother's birthday is on October the 12th, so I can get him a gift. I do need to buy him his gifts pretty soon. I know he'll want like Roblox or like little video game toys, so I will work on getting him that. Next up is savings, and savings will be getting $1. Just $1 today. So now savings has 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, moving on to emergency. Emergency will also be getting $1 today. I'm trying to make sure I do focus on my savings and emergency. So now emergency has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So $16 in emergency. Okay, so that is all for this binder. Okay, so moving on to this binder. Here we'll be getting $13. I didn't want to start making sure that i stuff for this because really i always do my hair myself so i do need to make sure i have enough money for my hairstyles that i do so here we'll be getting 110 and three ones 10 11 okay so now hair has 20 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So now hair has 38. And now my hair is in faux locks. So who knows? After this, I may do a wig or I may... Truthfully, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know. But I know that I do switch up my hair a lot. So it's always good to have money in here. Next up is spending, and spending will be getting $10, and that's going to be a five and five ones. And I like these trackers because they don't take over 
the money like it's really small so now spending has 20 25 26 27 28 29 30. so 30 in spending and i'm really not sure what i want to buy just yet but it's always good to have some spending money I know some people write like little wish lists of what they want to buy in their spending sinking funds. They can know. So once they reach that amount, they know what they want to get. If you guys have that, let me know what you guys are saving for and y'all are trying to get for spending. I do know that I want them like Polaroid cameras where you take the picture and it automatically come out. I think that's really cool. I've been looking at that for like forever now and I've just never got it. So who knows? Maybe I'll get that camera. So next up is health and health will be getting ten dollars and that's just one ten i know that next year i want to start making sure i save up so i can use this for my contacts and glasses i wasn't able to this year just because i just started and i didn't really put that much into it but guys are the same next year i do want to have like a budget and set amount that i want to save because every year i know that i got to pay for my contacts i know i got to pay for my glasses and like co-pays and stuff like that whenever i go to the doctor so i do want to save up a good amount so next year guys are the same i want to start like a budget overview of my goals and i'll put an amount there so i can make sure i reach it but anyway so now health has twenty dollars and as y'all can see this tracker it fits over the money so i really like that so you don't see it next up is christmas this is what i'm really trying to make sure i do you know my best ad because i'm trying to get 300 so this time around for Christmas, I'm gonna put 80 towards it. So I'm gonna just cross out this 50 and this 30. So I'm stuffing $80 for Christmas today. And if y'all saw my uh, tracker update, y'all will see, I really liked coloring that in cause it really just showed me like I really am making progress with this Christmas. Cause as y'all know, I do wanna save 300 for Christmas to get everybody's gifts. And I'm almost there. I decided to do two boxes that way I can like make sure I get my gifts ahead of time I don't want to get it like last minute where everything is gone put this in order I love Christmas shopping guys I really do I just love getting people gifts it's always fun to me so now on Christmas we should have 130 Let's see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, and 130. So 130 towards Christmas, guys. We are really like getting there. So close to my goal. I don't know what I'm getting people for Christmas. I really don't, but I'll know it when I see it. Travel actually is not getting stuff, but I have, I think $4 in here. Clothing, as you can see, that's empty and I'll be adding just $1. I think adding a saving tracker for this and like a challenge, like how I'm doing Christmas will help me bulk up. Cause I do want to get a new wardrobe for clothing. I just want new everything. I'm 24, I feel like my clothing, I need to be more like adult. Not even adult, but I just want a new, you know, a style upgrade. You know, like I want to just go shopping at H&M and Marshalls and get everything I want. So I want to do that. Okay, beauty. We'll be getting $7. Now I get a five and two ones. So five, six, seven. Let's add it all up. I want to get lashes and I also want to get some nails. As y'all can see, I still don't have my nails yet, my fake nails. I want to make sure that I'm you know healed from that thing i had or whatever but i probably will get it in the next probably two weeks or so i'll make sure to get my nails again so i kind of feel used to not having nails though it's kind of weird i'm kind of used to not having them but now in beauty we have 10 20 25 30 31 32 so 32 dollars in beauty and most likely i will use this pretty soon because i want to get some nails and I think I'm gonna get the sticky tabs. Leave in the comments if y'all have used sticky tabs before. I haven't used them, but I think that's what I'll use now because before I did the base coat gel and that's what messed up my finger with the bacteria. 
So I may use the sticky tab this round. Let me know if y'all used it. Okay, adventure. Fun, I'm all up and doing some of the fun. We'll be getting $5. I got some money in here. Okay. So fun now has 15. That's 5, 10, 15. I don't know what I'm gonna do fun pretty soon. I think me and my family are gonna go to a football game. So I may use this for the game. Okay, next up is family. Yeah, this is a lot. So, this is a lot of money in here. My family, as y'all know, this is my new envelope. This is just for my family. I do live at home. So if they need anything, if they want anything, I can just pull it from here. So family will be getting $10 and that's just 110. All right, so now family has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So $40 in family. This is just like their own personal spending. My family wants something, my siblings want something. It will come from here. And this is actually a lot for a bill exchange. I do want to do a bill exchange. I'm kind of nervous whenever I do get to the point of doing one because I feel like I'll get nervous and I'll mess up. But once, you know, I need a lot of change and all the other ones, I will do a bill exchange once it gets to that point. Okay, this is the one that I'm really excited for, a rollover, because I've always needed this envelope because sometimes I go over in certain categories or, you know, sometimes you just need an extra little cushion. So this is my little cushion envelope. So the money I had left over, this is what I had in my cash envelopes for this week. And that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have $10 left over from my cash envelopes that will go and roll over. So let's see. Okay, so now in roll over, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So $17 left in rollover. This is if I go over in any envelope or if I just need an extra little something, it will come from here. So I think this is my favorite envelope to stuff because I know that if I go over in cash envelopes, like it won't hurt me, I guess you could say in a sense. Like it'll just come from this one. I just wanted to say if I see my little off this video kind of quiet, it's because the past two weeks have been really hard for me, really difficult, really challenging. My heart was beating really fast. I had really bad anxiety. I was kind of sad this week because I just feel like I'm so like stressed out. I'm studying for my teaching test because I registered for it this month. And I've just been studying for it like all the time. And I feel like I'm just not prepared for the time that I signed up for it. So I think I'm going to push it back just to make sure I'm prepared for it. Yeah, but it is October. So I'm excited for that. It's a new month, new blessings, new opportunities. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.